devotions here at Calvary Lutheran. Have you ever been so overwhelmed by something that's difficult in one area in your life and it affects other areas? Maybe a problem at work is affecting your life at home or a problem at home is affecting your life at work. Or maybe even a health problem is affecting both. It can be overwhelming and it can make your life feel like a mess. Now there's a song by a Christian artist called 828 and that is uh, in line with Romans 828 which reads, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. A well-known passage, right? Well this artist gives a really cool illustration and the line goes, The master artist makes your mess a masterpiece regardless. Have you ever noticed the backside of art? doesn't really look like the front side, and you kind of wonder how they got that finished product, it can kind of look like a mess. In the same way, if you go and get a tattoo, and you have this excellent idea in your head, and you're so excited for it, and then you look down at the final product, and the tattoo artist just butchers it, and it looks terrible, you may think that it looks like a mess. Well, that's what the sinful world does to us. We have this wonderful idea of how our life should be. And when it doesn't go that way, well then the sinful world makes us think that our life is a mess. It can take a hold of us and ask us these questions and make us ask these questions, does God really love us? Why is God allowing this to happen? And we ask these questions and it's kind of almost out of pride. And we let pride creep in because God isn't handling the situation in the way that we feel he should. Now, it makes us wait, and nobody likes to wait. Everybody wants it done in their time, but it's always in God's time. We become impatient, and we start mimicking almost childlike behavior. Well, that makes sense, because God is our Father. But man, are we terrible. However, did you know that people actually make a living off of creating beautiful tattoos from the mistakes and the messes of other tattoo artists. And that flip side of that messy art piece is, it's breathtaking and it's wonderful. And that's what God does for us. He makes our life a beautiful masterpiece. The master artist makes your mess a masterpiece regardless. And it's, it's always in his timing and not ours, and that's the difficult thing. But the beautiful thing about it is it's grace, as Pastor talked about on Tuesday. It's, there's no other word for it. It's just beautiful, amazing grace. We don't deserve it, but he doesn't take it away. He does it because he loves us. Even when life seems that it seems like a huge mess, we can be assured that he still loves us. He loves us so much that he sent his only son to live perfectly, suffer perfectly, die perfectly, and then rise from the dead just so we could be with him in paradise. Nothing that we could do could ever compare to that or accomplish this. This is, this is grace. And grace is the theme of the masterpiece God is working in our lives. How we live our lives is now centered on Christ and everything that he did for us. We now live our lives in order to thank God and, and praise and appreciate everything that he's done for us. So now, our goal and our drive and our passion is to share this amazing grace with the world. You may wonder, how can we do that in these times? Things are not as easy as they used to be. Actually, they almost are easier. Now, you can share our services, devotions, posts, on social media with one click or you can create your own you can share the grace with others and especially if you see somebody like a friend or a neighbor going through a difficult time you can show them God's grace and share it with them and always remind them that no matter what happens the master artist makes your mess a masterpiece regardless we pray Lord God, we thank you for your grace that is always there, even when it feels like our life is a mess. Help us always to remember, when it seems like we're going through the ringer, that you still love us and are there with us. 
Help us always to keep our eyes focused on you. Bless the decisions of our nation and let peace and love overwhelm everyone's heart. In your name we pray. Amen.